Indian Evidence Act 1872, Act No. 1 of 1872. Date enacted 15 March 1872. Date commenced 1st September 1872. The word evidenced is derived from the Latin. It is Latin. Latin word evidenced or evidere, which means to show clearly, to make clear to the sight, to discover clearly, to make plainly certain, to ascertain, to prove. Uh, so, these words are not a quotation, to show clearly, show, okay, clearly, to make clear to the sight, to discover clearly, to show clearly, to make clear to the sight, to discover clearly, to make plainly certain, to make plainly Plain, so, so plainly certain. What? <sighs> to make plainly certain, to ascertain, to prove. Okay. To show clearly, to make clear to the sight, to discover clearly, to make plainly certain, to certain, to prove. The main principles written underline the law of evidence number one. The uh, evidence must be confined to the matter in issue. Evidence must be confined to the matter in issue. Matter in issue. Okay. Two. Here say evidence must not be admitted. Okay. Direct. And uh, direct evidence should be given more with this than he or she evidence. And best evidence must be given in all cases. The law of evidence as far as law of procedure, i.e. the procedure court, has to follow. This is expressed by saying that it is the law of the forum or court or the lex for it. Lex for it, the meaning is law of the forum or court okay love the frame or court or lex or lex for it the law of evidence is the same in civil and criminal proceedings the law of evidence is the same in civil and criminal proceedings so kinds of evidence best general evidence circumstantial evidence generally a and b divided into classes but other classes or kinds are also there best general evidence circumstantial evidence type of evidence a best and oral evidence b circumstantial evidence c direct evidence d hear say evidence e corroborative evidence f documentary evidence documentary evidence is also good evidence g primary and secondary evidence and h real evidence best and oral evidence section 60 Act records and oral evidence. That person who has actually perceived something by that sense, by which is capable of perception, perceived by senses, means uh, senses, should make uh, the statement about it in no one else. Statement, okay, statement of witness, maybe oral, that is orally made, of course, not written. Act records in oral evidence that person who has actually perceived something. Okay, person who has actually perceived something by that sense by which she is capable of perceptions make the statement about it and no one else. If it refers to a fact which could be seen, it must be the evidence of a witness who says he saw it, saw, seen, senses, eyes, so witness the person who perceived something by that sense. Oral evidence. If it refers to a fact that could be heard, it must be the evidence of a witness who says he heard it. If it refers to a fact which could be perceived by any other sense or in any other manner, it must be the evidence of a witness who says he perceived it by that sense or in that manner. If it refers to an opinion or on the grounds in which that opinion is held, opinion, uh, not fact, it must be the evidence of the person who holds that evidence on those grounds. Then for real evidence, it is covered under section second provision to section 60. Okay, real evidence. So section 60 is about what? Best and oral evidence. Mm, section 60. Provision to section 60. Real evidence. Provided also that if oral evidence refers to the existence or condition of any material things. Oral evidence. Okay, oral. 
Mm, the evidence given by the witness refers to the existence or condition of any material thing, material, uh, physical object, other than a document. Okay, the court may, if it thinks fit, require the production of such material for its inspection. And the purpose of requiring the production is for inspection. Inspection means chores or inquiry. For example, weapons, scare of wounds, or other injury like loss of leg or hand. So, this is real evidence or provision of section 60 is also very important provided also that if oral evidence refers to the existence or condition of any material things other than a document the court may and material thing which is not the document other than a document this point is important other than a document this would distinguish this material thing the court may if it thinks fit record a production of this material thing for its inspection for example weapons scare of wounds or other injury like loss of leg or hand then comes circumstantial evidence circumstantial evidence means the evidence of circumstances circumstances surrounding circumstances and is sometimes referred to presumptive evidence presumpt okay presumptive evidence because um, it's uh, not something direct it's a uh, the circumstances indicate either to the existence of something or to the non-existence circumstances indicates right so this is a best illustration a is chosen with murder of b there are two person a and b a is chosen murder of b at the trial a witness c a witness c on behalf of the prosecution behalf of the prosecution mean on the side of the of course um, plaintiff gives evidence that he saw a running away from he saw a mr a who is charged of murdering b we are running away from the murder place with blood stained knife in his hand so in his hand okay evidence given by c will be called circumstantial evidence oh a is charged to the murder of b at the trial a witness at the trial a witness c on behalf of the prosecution gives evidence that he saw a running away from the murder place from the murder place with blood stained knife in his hand evidence given by c will be called circumstantial evidence then comes here say evidence the reason why here say evidence is not received as relevant evidence oh so okay, okay, it's not received as relevance evidence we, uh, it is not given much which is r a the person giving just evidence does not feel any responsibility okay no responsibility on the part of the person does not feel any responsibility if he is concerned that he has line of escape by saying i do not know but so and so told me so this is not something which is uh, reliable here say here say you're hearing i am saying here say the name itself indicates to what does what uh, it's it's meaning the person giving such evidence doesn't feel any responsibility if he is concerned he has line of escape say by saying i did not know but so and so told me then b truth is diluted and diminished with its repetition b truth is diluted and diminished with its repetition and c if permitted gives ample scope for play, playing fraud by saying someone told me that it will be attaching importance to a foul streamer flying from one flop lip to another that's why it's not given much importance then comes corroborative evidence and the sections here sections 156 and 157 says when a witness whom it is intended to corroborate gives evidence of any relevant fact he may be questioned as to any other circumstances which he observed at or place at which such a relevant fact occurred if the court is of opinion that such circumstances if proved would corroborate the testimony of the witness as to the relevant fact which he testifies this is the example a says b a and b mr a mr b a says b hit by a car and run over hit and run yes the car does not stop but they noted the number he lodged a complaint to police police arrested driver and put him for trial rash and negligent driving a is the principal witness when he gives oral evidence but at the end the complaint given by him to the police shown to him regarding accident and if he says yes 
it is marked an exhibit it is corroborative evidence so what the case when he gives oral evidence but at the end the complaint given by him to the police shown to him regarding accident and if he says yes it is same it is marked this evidence it is corroborative evidence then comes documentary evidence documentary evidence is defined in the act as all documents produced for the inspection of the goals documents produced for the the uh, definition of document is also given in section 3 of indian evidence act 1872 documents produced for the inspection inspection means choice or inquiry of the court the purpose of product producing document is really upon the truth of the statement contained therein so uh, really upon the truth of the statement contained therein this involves when the document produced in the court the examination of three questions number one is the document genuine so first question arises about the genuineness of the document whether it is fraud or genuine what are its contents what is given here <clears throat> given in the document means the contents and are the statement in the document true contents after considering the content they have to consider are the statement in the document true documents are divided into two categories public and private then comes section 74 that is the following documents are public documents number one documents forming the acts or records to the acts of the subregion authority of official bodies and tribunal and of public officers legislative judicial and executive documents forming the acts or records to the acts of the subregion authority subregion authority means state of official bodies and tribunal administrative officials remain of public officers legislative judicial and executive legislative sense judicial and executive of any part of india or of commonwealth or of a foreign country to public record kept in any state of private document any state of private document the kind of documents that are mentioned in section 74 subsection 2 are documents made between private parties but a record of them is kept in the registration office under the registration act for example wills and sale of deeds section 75 this section 74 and section 75 says all other documents are private section 76 certified copies of public documents certified copy of public mm, okay then primary these are documents there's kinds of documents <sighs> primary and secondary evidence there is an original document a photograph is taken and a manuscript is made from the photograph and compare either with the original or photograph the original is primary evidence the photograph and a copy is secondary evidence coming under section 63 subsection 2 the section is very important to remember section 63 subsection 2 that requires that the first copy should have been made by a mechanical process and zeroing the accuracy of the copy section 65 specifies in what case a secondary evidence will be really received example when an original is shown a original is shown or appear to be in position or power power of the person against whom the document is sought to be proved or of any person out of reach of or not subject to the opposition process of the court or of any person legally bound to produce it and when after a notice mentioned in section 66 this person does not produce it when the original document is lost or destroyed then secondary evidence from the contents of the document is admissible so in what cases of the person say um, when in original when a, original is shown or appear to be in positions or power of the person against whom the document is sought to be proved or of any person out of out of reach of or not subject to the process of the court or of any person legally bound to produce it and when after a notice mentioned in section 66 such person does not produce it when the original document is not so destroyed when secondary the evidence of the contents of the documents and visible then comes admissibility of electronic records this is important part of the syllabus section 65 a and b any information containing an electronic record any information okay containing an electronic record electronic record this is a record of course but electronic which is printed on a paper stored recorded or copied in optical or magnetic media produced by a computer computer output shall be deemed to be also a document provided the computer output was produced by the computer during the period of work which the computer was used regular or process information direct evidence direct evidence is referred to something as original a is charged to the murderer B by stabbing him. C, D, E, F, G, and H are witnesses. 
At the trial, the witness C say he saw A step B, step B. D says he heard B cry out that A was stabbing him. E says that A saw running with blood stained knife. F says he saw a washing blood stained clothes. G, who is doctor, says that the knife found in A's position might be caused the wound. H says he hears from C's evidence is direct evidence. After it comes to relevancy effect, that is also very important from the point of view of the syllabus. Section 5. Um, chapter 2, Section 5 to 55 deals with relevancy of fact. Deals with the provisions to relevancy of fact. Section 5. Evidence may be given of facts in issue and relevant fact, facts evidenced may be given in any suite or proceeding of the existence or non-existence of every fact in issue and of such other facts as are here enough to declare to be relevant and of no others. So what is this? Evidence may be given of facts in issue and relevant facts evidence may be given in any suite or proceeding of the existence or non-existence of every fact in issue and of such other facts as are here enough to declare to be relevant and of no other explanation. This section shall not enable any persons to give evidence of a fact which is dis uh, dis entitled to proof by any provisions of the law for the time being enforced relating to civil prostor. Then illustration A is tried for the murder of B. Tried. Tried. For the murder of B by beating him with a cup with the intention of causing his death and then this the intention man's is also there. At A's trial the following facts are in issue. A's beating B with club the club. A's causing B's death by chest beating. A's intention cause B's death. Then comes to say, uh, section six relevancy of fact forming part of same transaction. Facts switched how not in issue are so connected with a fact in issue as to form part of the same transactions are relevant whether they occurred at the same time and place or at different times and place principal res gasti this admits those facts the admissibility of which comes under the technical expression res gasti i.e the things done words spoken in the course of transactions course of transactions things done words spoken in the course of transaction means forming the part of same transaction but just facts must form part of the same transactions illustration a a is accused of murder of b by beating him whatever was said or done by a or b or the bystanders at the beating also shortly before or after is as to form part of the transaction is a relevant fact 7. Facts which are occasion, cause or effect of fact in issue. Facts which are occasion, cause or effect immediate or otherwise. Facts which are the occasion, occasion, cause or effect immediate, immediate or otherwise of relevant facts of or, or facts in issue or which constitute the state of things under which they happen or which efforts an opportunity for their occurrence or transitions are relevant. Illustrations, illustrations are very important. A. The question is whether a robbed B. The fact that shortly before the robbery, B went to a fair with money in his positions. Fair, okay? With money in his positions. And that he sold it or mentioned the fact that he had it to third persons are relevant. Okay. B. The question is whether a murder B marks on the ground produced by struggle at or near the place where the murder was committed are relevant facts. Marks on the ground. C. The question is whether a poison to be the state of B's health before the symptoms ascribed to poison and habits to be known to A which afforded an opportunity for the administration of poison are relevant facts. Then motive preparations in previous or subsequent conduct. Echo. Yes, any fact is relevant which shows or constitutes a motive for preparations for any fact in issue and relevant fact. This is also very important. Subsequent and conduct. But this is not part of my syllabus at least. Fact necessary to explain or introduce relevant facts. Okay, but it's very interesting. Indian Evidence Act. This video is made. This video is not properly made. The viewers may find it difficult to understand. So, thanks for watching.